Hey, what's up, man? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're not going to have a conversation breakdown, but you and I need to have a conversation. So I've been talking to a lot of guys who are struggling to get the dates that they want and meet the woman that they want to meet. But they're telling me, hey, game, I'm not desperate enough to spend a few thousand dollars in my dating life. But the truth is, man, you're already spending your money. Let me explain. So imagine that you're a guy in your 20s and your 30s and you want to go out and you want to talk to some girls. What does the average guy do? You go out one night with your buddies. You maybe pay to get into a club or get a booth. Or if you're not paying for that, you're probably paying for at least a couple of drinks. That night maybe costs you 50, 60, 80 dollars depending on the city that you're in. And over the course of a year, that's actually 4,000 dollars you're spending on meeting girls. But if you're the average guy, your night goes like this. You go into the venue, you tell yourself, I'm going to talk to the first girl I see. And then you see the first girl. You get some butterflies in your stomach. You're like, ah, I don't know. Maybe I need a drink. So you go to the bar, start chatting with the bartender. Try not to look in the girl's direction and get your first drink. And then a few hours later, you and your friends are hammered. You approach a few girls, but you're so hammered, you can't even speak. So the girl just turns in the other direction, doesn't even look at you and you go back home alone. Now, let's say that you're the type of guy who's focused on his career. Maybe you're just saving money. You're not going out. You're just building your business or building your skills in your career. You're an introverted guy. You don't even like going out. Well, let me ask you this. How many hours a day are you spending wishing that your life was different? How many hours a day are you thinking about, man, if I had a girl by my side who really supported me, who cared for me, who made me food when I came back home, who actually showed me some love. How would I show up to my life differently? Or how many hours are you spending on dating apps? Just swiping because it's more comfortable to do. Maybe you know you want to meet people, but you don't want to face the fear right away. You want to tiptoe your way around the fear. And the reason for that is you don't want to face your fear head on because guess what? If that becomes difficult, your ego is going to get hurt. So instead, you spend all those hours dreaming about making a change while staying in the same place. And let's say you spend three, four hours swiping and daydreaming throughout the course of your week. And maybe let's say just the lower end of this calculation here, you're paid minimum wage, 15 bucks an hour. That's $60 a week that you're spending to stay in the same place that you're at today. So that adds up to $3,000 a year. Now let's say you didn't learn these skills. You don't agree that you're wasting your time daydreaming. What happens if you marry the wrong girl? I've had a lot of clients and also a lot of friends who'd been through divorce and they told me you at least need $20,000 to get out of that stuff. So dude, you're already spending your money sucking at meeting women. You're already spending your money not getting to the place you want to be in. So why not spend your money more proactively and actually learn a skill that can help you for the rest of your life? Why not be that person? Spending money on your dating life doesn't make you a loser. No matter how many people try to force that belief onto you, it actually makes you more self-aware than most people out there and the humble person who can accept that you need help. And the crazy thing is, you don't even know what you're missing out on. You may be seeing 5-10% of the possibilities you could have if you were to get this handled. But let me tell you this. A few days ago, I'm in Cartagena right now in Colombia. And a few days ago, I went on an island trip with a girl. It maybe costed me like 200 bucks. But I had met this girl a few weeks back and we just really connected. We opened up to each other to a level that I've never really opened up to anyone before. And she opened up to me. So we go on this island, we're on this beach bed, just relaxing, talking, enjoying the view. And I'm thinking to myself, dude, if I told this story to anyone, 
they wouldn't even believe this was real. And I'm thinking to myself, are guys really holding on to their money, their possessions, things that will immediately disappear the moment you die, so tightly that they're not willing to pay for these experiences? If you pay me $5,000, $10,000, $20,000, a million dollars, I would not take back that experience. When your life is over, those are the experiences that you will remember. And a lot of guys see the risk in money, but they're not seeing how much they're spending right now. We're biased against having this aversion towards risk. Dude, you're taking a bigger risk right now not making a change because you'll be 30, 40, 50, 60 years old and you look back, you'll be like, fuck man, I wasted my life. So I know this is not the type of content that you're expecting to see on this channel. But I literally woke up two days ago and I was talking to a friend and I was so fired up. And I thought it was crazy that guys couldn't see this. So hopefully this resonated with you. But again, listening to me speak isn't really going to change anything. If you want to really get this handled, then you have to work with a coach because most people are terrible at keeping themselves accountable. And there's no shame in working with a coach. I've spent more than twenty, thirty thousand dollars of my own money as I'm building my business and building my skills, learning from coaches, and that's why I was able to progress so fast. So if you want to learn this skill, I want to give you an opportunity. We're launching a new coaching program that's designed to teach you how to meet women as a relaxed guy who can fully express himself without exaggerating, without trying to be too alpha also without holding back and actually showing direct intentions. When you do that, you'll realize that you'll become a magnetic person. And then you can use empathy to lead people and the lead woman that you meet to amazing experiences. When you can do that, you'll be the dream guy of most girls that you meet. And that's when things stop being a numbers game. It's no longer about let me approach 30 girls and see what sticks. You're so high value and you have so much empathy, you have so much charisma that if you use it in the right direction, you can make a crazy impact on people. So if you want to do that, there will be a link in the description below where you'll be able to schedule a just 10 minute chat with me. Again, that's not a sales call, that's just for us to get to know each other. And then if we decide we need to have a longer conversation about this, then we can have a longer call and then talk about coaching. But this isn't even about me. This is about me taking your money or you joining my program. This is about you. Do you want to be the type of guy who's 60, 70 years old, who piled into his money so much that he missed out on life? Do you want to be the type of guy who's alive, but not really living his life? Or do you want to be the guy who's had so many experiences that you can die tomorrow as a happy man. That's the choice you need to make. I hope you enjoy this video and I will see you guys in the next one. He's not joking. He's not joking.